Hi, welcome to What's Happening. Here are the top five stories. At number five, the federal government will today, January 29th, receive the outline business case certificate of compliance for 12 federal highways built for concession. The concession of the highways may also indicate the return of toll gates as concessionaires will have to recoup their investments. The outline business case certificate of compliance will be handed over to the Ministry of Works and Housing by the Infrastructure Concession Regulatory Commission in Abuja. It was gathered that the 12 highways combined represent about 1,963 kilometers and less than 5.6% of Nigeria's 35,000 kilometer federal highway network. At number four, there were indications on Thursday that there is friction between President Muhammad Buhari and the National Assembly over the confirmation of the appointment of the new service chiefs. Benjamin Kalu, the chairman of the House of Representatives Committee on Media and Public Affairs, told newsmen the president must send names of the new service chiefs to the National Assembly for confirmation. He also said the new service chiefs would be on acting capacities until they are confirmed by the National Assembly. However, a presidential source told Punch that Buhari is not under any obligation to send the names of the new service chiefs to the National Assembly, despite reports that the president's appointment violates a 2013 judgment of the Federal High Court, which mandates the president to seek the confirmation of the National Assembly for the appointment of service chiefs. At number three, a team of experts from the World Health Organization completed their 14-day quarantine in Wuhan, China on Thursday and will begin a heavily scrutinized investigation into the origins of the COVID-19 pandemic. The team arrived in Wuhan on January 14th and proceeded on a two-week isolation. Although the quarantine ended yesterday, it is not exactly clear where and when the probe will begin. Beijing has however warned that as investigations begin, the United States should not politicize it. At number two, the United Nations has said the coronavirus pandemic cost the global tourism sector $1.3 trillion in lost revenue in 2020, as the number of people traveling dropped. The World Tourism Organization on Thursday called it the worst year in tourism history, saying the revenue lost last year amounted to more than 11 times the loss recorded during the 2009 global economic crisis. According to the organization, most experts do not see a return to pre-pandemic levels of tourism activity happening before 2023. At number one, Boko Haram's factional leader, Abu Bakr Shekau, taunted the newly appointed service chiefs in an audio that emerged on Thursday, saying they should repent and convert to Muslim as they cannot perform better than their predecessors. So many criticisms have greeted the appointment of the service chiefs by President Muhammad Buhari, as some say they were appointed without following due process. However, in the recent audio, Shekau called the new service chiefs by their names, stating clearly they cannot do anything to destroy Boko Haram. Always remember to wear your mask, wash your hands and stay safe. That's all for now. See you next time on What's Happening.